if your kid has a narrow, high arched palate from sucking habit, bad pacifier, something like that, it's not just affecting their teeth. It can affect their health. It can be life or death. For real, you need to listen to this. Dr. Gimeno, one of the most well-respected sleep doctors, published a study in the European Journal of Pediatrics where he and another researcher looked at a group of French children between about age one, age three, who died of unexpected causes like SIDS or accidental suffocation in bed. These children who tragically passed away all had one thing in common. Do you know what it is? Narrow, high vaulted palate. Every single one of them had that characteristic. Remember, the roof of the mouth is the floor of the nose. If we deform this, we're deforming this. This is not about teeth. Deformation in this area causes increased breathing resistance. It makes it harder to breathe. This research concluded that when it's harder to breathe, it makes a child more susceptible to other things that can cause them to stop breathing. SIDS is gonna be more common. Accidental suffocation is more common. So please remember, the entire body is interconnected. If you can see a change in one area, it's definitely affecting something else too. So please, let's be very thoughtful about our use of pacifiers and management of sucking habits. This stuff really matters. If your child has a narrow palate, please reach out to a professional and look at what you can do to help reverse that and change it.